Welcome to another wonderful episode of our Business Personality Show. You know the vibes on this show, we bring you the profiles of people who are deliberately leaving their footprints in the signs of time. People that are making the marks and building and shaking in the media, entertainment, or whatever industry, so to speak. Today, we'll be talking about someone that's very interesting. I find that super interesting because ordinarily, anybody in her position would not make so much marks. I'm not going to tell you who this woman is. When we get back, I'm going to be shaking tables with the lady, with this particular lady. Stay tuned and don't forget, take out this time to like, share, subscribe, comment, tell your friends about the fact because you know here, it's premium content or nothing. Welcome back guys. So before we went on the break, I told you that I'll be discussing someone, a very phenomenal woman, someone that you legit least expect. She is none other than the first lady of a kitty state. I know, right? Amazing. BC Adeleye Fayemi. This woman is one to me. Like, legit, her profile will have you dumbfounded because nobody would expect that the first lady who is too pretty is making so much marks. BC Adeleye family was born on the 11th of June, 1963. She was born in Liverpool, England on the 11th of June, 1963. She received a bachelor's and master's degrees in history from the University of Ife, now Obafemi Awolowo University, Nigeria. She also received an MA in Gender and Society from Middlesex University in the UK. She is currently the CEO of Above Whispers Limited, specializing in leadership development for women. And she runs an online community called AboveWhispers.com, where she writes a weekly column called Loud Whispers. She was until recently a UN Women Nigerian Senior Advisor I was recently appointed as a visiting senior research fellow at King's College, University of London. She is married to Kayo De Fayemi, the two-time governor of Ekiti State, and they got married in 2010. She is a British Nigerian feminist activist, writer, and policy advocate. In 2001, she co-founded the African Women's Development Fund, the first Pan-African grant-making organization. She serves as a UN Women Nigeria senior advisor. I was appointed as a visiting senior research fellow at King's College in the University of London, 2017. I'm going to pause for a minute. Can you see the profile of this woman? She is not just your sitting pretty governor's wife. She is doing so much in the media industry. She led the campaign to enact a gender-based violence prohibition law in 2011, which was later revised in October 2019, and an equal opportunity bill in 2013 and HIV anti-stigma bill in 2014. She continues to work on the implementation and sustainability of this initiative as the first lady of a Kitty state for the second time. She serves on the executive board of the African Women's Development Fund. She is the chair of the advisory group of Nigerian Women's Trust Fund and also serves in the governing council of Elizabeth University in Nigeria. She is currently the chair of Gender-Based Violence Law Management Commission in a Kitty state and chair a Kitty State AIDS Controlling Agency. This profile is heavy, like legit heavy. And if you see this woman, very calm looking, you think that she's sitting pretty, but this woman is shaking tables, both internationally and locally. She is also on the steering committee of the Regional African Women's Leaders Network and a member of Nigerian Steering Committee, where she serves as an advisor. She is the author of Loud Whispers, speaking for myself, and another biography titled Speaking Above a Whisper. She also co-edited Voice, Power and Soul. And there's something I, I realized about her books. I think they are books that help you find or discover yourself, that gives a voice to both women and men. So I think she's a very, very inspirational writer. So moving down to her awards and her recognitions, she was given the Changing of the Face Philanthropy Award by Women's Funding Network in 2007 and was named one of the most 20 most influential African women in 2009 by New African Magazine. In 2011, Women Deliver listed her as one of the top 100 people in the world advertising the rights of women and girls. In 2019, she was awarded the 2018 Zik Leadership Prize for Humanitarian Leadership by Public Policy Research and Analysis Center. We are going down to her publications, books that she has written and I think that if you are a lady that wants to make a mark in the society in the nearest future, you should take out your time to read the books. Some of her publications include Where Is Your Rapper? and it was publicized in 2020. In 2017, she did Loud Whispers, 
In 2013, we had Speaking Above a Whisper. In 2013, also, she had Speaking for Myself. 2008, she had Voice, Power, and Soul. Now, like I said earlier, look at the title of this book. I think it just goes to give people a voice and to think that she's a very, 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 very strong feminist. So if you're looking at someone to look up to as a young girl that's trying to find her voice and her foot in society, BT Adele Yefayemi is one to look up to. We'll be joining the show on this curtain here and I'd like to say that if you are not following Defect TV, you are sleeping on bike. You are already sleeping on bike. Take out the time, follow, like, subscribe, Tell other people about Defect TV because you know what we do here. We give you content that you cannot get anywhere else. So I come away next to my fortune. Keep it locked in on Defect TV. Mm -hmm.